Hello everybody, I'm here with my eyebrows completely covered, looking like a monster because that's kind of the most annoying, tedious part of doing all of this. Um, and so I just wanted to kind of have it done before I started all of this. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because I want to kind of have a reference for what I do with my face and there have been a couple of you who have expressed interest in knowing how I do my makeup so I wanted to do this video and kind of display everything. So like I said I already covered my eyebrows and I like to use the glue stick method so I used Elmer's washable glue stick. It's just very easy to find in most places and let's reserve all the judgment for this video, I haven't shaved anything in a while because I haven't really needed to, um, and I've just been enjoying being a boy, which, um, is allowed, I think. Um, I'm trying to do gigs, so maybe that can be a thing that happens in the future. Um, there's an amateur night that's coming up very, very soon, and I'm looking forward to that, so I'm trying to get my glamour higher. Let's start with my foundation. I have been vacillating between two different things and I want to start all of this like late start all of this by saying that I don't have a lot of the same products a lot of my products are from different places so I don't really have more than like three or four of the same kind of things so like this is Maybelline fit me and I think I have maybe one other Maybelline or a couple other Maybelline products I have um, elf I have NYX I have Sephora um, I have Revlon, I have all, just stuff from all over. So I have been vacillating between these two colors, 130 and 120 from Maybelline. I think I'm going to do 130 today because I haven't tried it, and why not? So I start by just kind of covering my whole face. This is all medium coverage. It's suggested that if you're doing drag makeup that you should have medium to full coverage. So I like to go with medium because it's easier to find that in a drugstore. And I kind of just like to cover everything because it just kind of gives me a fresh, clean palette that I can work with. And I'm just completely blank when I use it. I don't like to get colors that are too close to my tone because that's what the powder is for. Um, and then I have 340, same product, and I use that on my neck area and I kind of just cover the whole thing and every once in a while depending on if I'm doing like if I'm doing something for a video um, then like a purposeful video where I'm actually trying to look good I will use the same makeup um, on my neck to kind of give definition and uh, that's kind of just like to add almost like a highlight effect so that it's not just completely dark down here and then just really light on my face so now that I've got that all done. Um, I'm going to add, before I start blending anything, I'm going to use some Ben Nye and this is just um, white, CL number one white. And I like to use this on um, my under eye for highlighting and kind of making like my dark circles disappear. And then I put it on my cheekbone where I'm going to put my contour later. And I like to just kind of dab that because it, I will blend this all in. And let's see, oh, a lot of queens do not like to put foundation over the eyebrows. They say it's not good to do it. I, however, have had little to no problems putting foundation on my eyebrows as soon as they're set with powder. So if you are like, oh, I can't put foundation on my eyebrows when I cover them, like a lot of people believe that you can't do, um, do you just need to wait till they're completely dry because it's totally okay to do that just you need to wait till they're dry otherwise it'll get clumpy and you'll have problems so I'm using this color this one is CL 11 cinnamon and this is also by Ben Nye I got both of these products at a magic store because it's kind of difficult to find Ben Nye in a regular drugstore so I got that there and I don't use a whole lot to contour my nose I don't really do dark contour with my nose. I know it looks really dark here, but I promise it will be, um, it'll blend in a lot more. Use these little um, foam pads, and this is the latex free one. I just got this at Target. It's one dollar. Yeah, well, like 129 maybe. And what I do with all this at this point is I just pat, 
and it doesn't really matter for me if I'm like going into my contour if I'm doing my highlight I literally just pat all of this in so I will hold on to this I usually have two of them just in case I need them but I usually only need one so now I like to do my eyes because I want to clean up any fallout afterwards and it's easier to clean up fallout when you still have a neutral face where when you've already done everything you put your powders and everything if you get fallout on your face and you try to like buff it out if it starts blending into your face then you have just all these color lines everywhere and if you're using black then you have black lines and it's just not fun so I like to do that so I have this NYX this is um, a skinny black liner in crayon eyeliner um, and I think I got this one at Sephora um, no never mind I lied I got this one at Target I was gonna get the Sephora one and I like to to do a wing that's just kind of my style when I do my drag character and I like to kind of bring it a little bit higher and I also like to cover my entire lid so everything that would be my natural normal boy lid I like to cover that in black and then do everything above that as a garage door and I don't usually do like a neutral color on my face because I don't like that style for me um, I tend to go for big colors and things so I like to do my entire natural lid with this and then I will cover that with um, liquid liner and all I have right now for liquid liner is elf and it works just the same uh, and the reason why I do liquid over that is because it gives it this really nice shine over that so I'm going to put all this on and then we'll check in afterwards so as you can see with this eye I kind of covered the entire like normal lid that I have and with I ended up doing a little bit darker and heavier than I intended to because I made a little bit of a mistake while I was going and the cool thing about makeup is that if you make a mistake you can just correct it by doing something else and so I made a mistake with the bottom and so I just dragged it all the way across and that's totally fine there are so many styles of makeup that you can do it's it's totally okay if you make a mistake there's so many ways to correct little mistakes never be afraid to do something new and exciting and different because you're afraid that you might mess up because again you can fix it so I only did my liner right now I'm not doing liquid just yet because I want to get the entire eye covered first because I do have a problem where sometimes when I line with my liquid then I have you know colors that are falling down onto my eyelid and then I have fallout and that's awful and I have to retouch it up and I don't like that so I'm going to do my garage door now and I always like doing garage doors as I said I don't usually like doing natural colors so I have this cool palette this I think it's called makeup festival I always want to call it the makeup carnival and I know that's not what it's called um, it was about $40 at Sephora which is a really great deal what am I feeling today I think I'm gonna go with a green turquoise color so I'm going to use a green cream liner to start out. Kind of just as like a helpful tip for you is you always really want to use a cream foundation when you use your, um, or I guess a cream color when you're going to use powders for your eyeshadow. If you really want them to pop and show up, you really want a cream base so that there's something that it's sitting on top of. Now I always do foundation on my lid, but I also always do a, um, a cream eyeshadow as well just so that there's extra color underneath it that really makes it pop and now the other thing that I've really been doing a lot lately is I've been creating a false crease with my eye and I kind of have been studying Bianca Del Rio's makeup and the way that she does things and I've kind of been adjusting it and doing things my own way and so what I do is I'll, I'll kind of start with a black pencil and I'll start kind of at like the corner of my eye where I'm starting um, my shadow and I'll bring it all the way up to the top where like my eyebrow is and then I'll bring it back down towards my wing and then what I'll end up doing with that is I kind of just use that as a um, color in the lines for where I want all my colors and everything I'll retouch that up with a gold liner afterwards that has glitter in it and it looks really pretty and then when it shows up in pictures it looks very natural like I've got this really deep eye crease and it looks really pretty and I like it. I've been experimenting with it so I'm going to try it again and see how it looks and you guys can see it as well. So again I just kind of start here, bring it up and then 
finish off at the end. And, you, and if you do a fake eye crease, you really want to make sure that it follows what your natural eye crease normally would be. Um, and you just want to kind of accentuate that. So I bring it higher. Okay, so now that this step is all done, I'm going to start using my colors. Now, the cool thing about makeup, and I keep saying the cool thing about makeup, is that there are really no rules, there are no limits, especially when you're doing drag. There is, is really no limits to what you can do. It is all up to you and what you would like to do with yourself and with your face. So you can really make up those rules as you go and you can choose whatever colors you want. And if you want to, you know, do blue and pink and freaking poop brown, you can do that because there is absolutely no limits on what is drag and what's makeup. And you know, it's an art form. Do what makes you happy and do what makes you feel pretty. And then the rest kind of just falls into place. So I'm using a turquoise blue right now, which is blending in really nicely with the green. I'm kind of just trying to establish a base and then I'll do darker colors afterwards. And with this false crease that I've created, I'm just using um, that as, as like lines to fill in. And then I will touch that up afterwards. So now I'm just going to add a little more brightness to the middle and kind of just buff all this out, make sure it's all blended together, blend it in with my false crease because that has kind of turned really blue and green in the process of this. And I don't want it to be like this harsh black line. I like the idea of that harsh black line, but it just doesn't really work very well for my face so I like to blend it back in to the shadow that I've created so that it's not so harsh and then when I do the gold over it it looks really pretty so for my actual brows because these need to be covered I like to kind of use some more natural colors for that and I've got this cool palette that I got. It's by NYX. It's Love in Paris. And I got this again from Target. Most of my beauty supplies come from Target because it's the easiest place to get them. And there's this there's this color that's at the top that pretty much matches my skin tone very well. And I like to kind of cover that before I do powder. Um, and I've gotten this tip from girls who do cover their eyebrows just because they want to redraw them either higher or whatever. And they like to keep them natural for when they're at home, but when they go out, they're a little more glamorous and they change their eyebrow shape and whatever. And so I've gotten this tip that they used um, some eyeshadow that was close to their skin color. And then now I'm going to use Dream Wonder. This is powder by Maybelline. And I like to use this because it's very close to my actual skin tone and the colors that I like to use for my character's face. So this works very, very well for me. And then it photographs well. You can't really see my eyebrows unless I don't cover them very well. If you make a mistake, the really cool thing about makeup is that you can just cover it up with other things. You don't have to worry about it. See, like already right now, I had this really awkward shape with my eye underneath and I've already cleaned it up a little bit. I haven't really mastered having a smooth edge just yet, but I know it'll come eventually. And then I want to smooth out my nose here. Okay, and my battery is dying right now, so I'm going to try to wrap this up as quickly as possible. I didn't really want to have to rush through this, but my camera's fucking stupid. So, now, I'm going to do my contour. And when I do a severe eye, I don't like to do a really severe cut in my face I like to do something kind of lighter and so I've got blushes that are in this palette as well and I like to use kind of the um, the really bright pink ones so that it kind of offsets how dark I've got my face almost the blush is my contour and I don't have to use a really severe darkness on my face and now I'm going to use this brown again this cinnamon color from my Ben Nye brand, and I'm going to just kind of go over that blush that I did to 
carve out my face a little more. And that's why I never throw out my original pad that I use because I like to blend that right in because I don't want to use the blush one in case I need it again. And I don't want it to get dirty. And now I'm going to use my white Ben Nye cream to highlight the top to bring attention to it. And for me, I like to use this white cream down here at the bottom where I kind of do my, um, my, where my chin is at because I was watching season, I think it was season two of RuPaul's Drag Race and Matthew Anderson was talking to, I forget which one of the queens it was, but he was saying that if you do a, a highlight just right where your beard line would be, where it meets your chin, it kind of helps soften up that look of the beard and it almost makes it disappear so that you don't notice it as much. So I have been doing that a lot more lately. It's just kind of highlighting right at my beard area so that it makes that not so stark and visible. Um, and now I'm going to, what am I going to do? I'm going to do my, I will do my, my dark powder. This is also my Maybelline. It's a Fit Me. This is like a really, really dark. I want to say this one is coconut. This is mocha. Not coconut. This is mocha. And I love this color so much because it's so dark and severe. And I use it to hollow or to carve out my face here. And this helps really make your face feminine, is creating um, darkness here on the side. It kind of helps just hollow out your face so that it doesn't look so big. And then you could, I use it at the top of my forehead, again, to make it look smaller. And I like to pat all of that down. And depending on the mood I'm in and how high I want my forehead, I'll bring it lower or higher up. Um, I'm kind of just keeping it neutral, I would say, towards like my face. Um, towards where I want my face today. And then I like to bring that down over my jaw so that it kind of helps that disappear. Then bring it right underneath. And I'll smooth it down up here. I don't pat as much when I get lower. And I like to bring it down on the side of my neck because it creates the illusion that my neck is smaller. Bring it right underneath my earlobe and just straight down into whatever foundation that I've done. And then a very, very little bit right here on my chin. Again, just to kind of give it that carved out shape. So now I've got this really, really light one. This is a 220. This is natural beige, and I'm gonna use that to highlight again with my powder. Okay, now I'm gonna do my lip. And I've been really going for that raven lip because I think the way she does lips is just freaking beautiful. So I like to make the lower lip really big and then add a lot of definition to my cupid's bow here. And then um, I fill that all in with kind of a, a normal-ish color. I don't like to do anything really severe with the lip. So that's kind of the, the vibe that I've been going for with my lips lately. So the color, by the way, that I use on this one is a, it doesn't say, oh, it's burgundy. This is the burgundy color and it's just a normal lip liner by L'Oreal. And then the color that I'm going to use is Revlon. And this color is Wine With Everything. I really, really love this color. So I like to overdraw my lips because it's always easier to overdraw them and then correct them later than to underdraw them and then have to, you know, fill them back in. Well, I had this genius idea to turn off my camera while I was cleaning everything up. So that's what I have been doing. I added some glitter gold and I did that right above where I have my false crease. I did my eyebrows and I finished those up. I cleaned up my lips a little bit because they were turning a little bit bows of the clown. And so now the very final touch for my look that I like to do is I have a little beauty mark here on the side. And so I take my eyeliner pencil and I just put it right on top of my main one. And give it a twist. I hate this camera. Bye!